Hi, I'm James Seawood, one of the narrators on the Abide app, a premium ad-free biblical meditation experience. Join the millions of people who download the Abide app to reduce stress, improve sleep, and experience the peace of God every day. You can text the word PEACE to 22433 for a seven-day free trial of Abide. Just text PEACE to 22433, and you'll likely hear from me again on the app as I guide you through daily meditations or help you fall asleep and experience the peace of God. Hi, I'm Bonnie Curry, one of the narrators on the Abide app, a premium ad-free biblical meditation experience. Join the millions of people who download the Abide app to reduce stress, improve sleep, and experience the peace of God every day. You can text the word PEACE to 22433 for a seven-day free trial of Abide. Just text PEACE to 22433, and you'll likely hear from me again on the app as I guide you through daily meditations or help you fall asleep and experience the peace of God. Hello, friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too. And we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Six orphan siblings tragically lost their mom and the community stepped up in a big way. Written by Heather Riggleman, read by Alyssa Forsberg. Single mom Jocelyn Michelle tragically died, leaving behind six orphan siblings. And that's when the community showed up in a big way. Single mom Jocelyn Michelle lost her life when a train struck her. In the wake of this terrible accident, she left behind her six children, ranging in age from two years old to 15. Her sisters Amy and Samantha have been scrambling to care for the orphan siblings and plan for Jocelyn's funeral. But like most of us, they live from paycheck to paycheck. When Kyle and Jackie O from KIIS Radio heard about the news, they wanted to help this grieving family and reached out their listeners as well. Kyle and Jackie invited Jacqueline's sisters onto the radio to give them encouragement, support, and a little solace as they announced they were donating $10,000 to help with funeral arrangements. They also set up a GoFundMe page for others to give a helping hand too. As they shared about the tragedy and the donation page, the call lines quickly filled up with others wanting to help the orphan siblings. One individual by the name of Richard called to help and he stunned everyone with his donation of $10,000. Perhaps the most precious donation came from a mother who had been listening to the program on her way to drop her daughter off at school. Her daughter wanted to use her allowance to donate. How incredibly compassionate and thoughtful. Isn't that something? When darkness, death, and tragedy strike, our hearts are compelled to reach out and help shoulder the burden. Much like a candle in the dark of night, They provided hope as this precious family moves forward in grief and heal without their mother. Galatians 6, 2 Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation is building its Do Good Village in Lando Lakes, Florida. Tunnel to Towers is doing even more for their program recipients, and it's all thanks to an extraordinary donation of many acres of land and your kindness and generosity. It's the first of its kind, a community of 110 homes for the Foundation's program recipients, families of fallen first responders, Gold Star families, families of catastrophically injured first responders and service members, all in one community as neighbors, their children playing together and growing up together, loving families being there for one another through good and bad times. Help America's greatest heroes and their families heal together. Make the Do Good Village the first of many communities like it. With every mortgage-free home, the foundation makes good on its promise to do good and never forget the sacrifices our nation's greatest heroes have made for our country and our communities. Donate $11 a month to Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. That's T, the number 2, T.org. Christina Applegate makes first appearance since announcing illness, and it gets emotional. Written by Mel Johnson. Read by Alyssa Forsberg. For Christina Applegate, illness wasn't going to rob her of the joy of earning a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And to accept the honor, the actress made her first public appearance 
since announcing her MS diagnosis. And when it came time for her to give her speech, things got pretty emotional. Doctors diagnosed Christina Applegate with MS, multiple sclerosis, in 2021. This is an autoimmune disease where, for whatever reason, a person's immune system begins attacking the central nervous system. The resulting damage can cause a host of neurological problems, such as pain, paralysis, vision problems, cognitive problems, and much more. Christina received her diagnosis in the midst of filming for the third and final season of her Netflix show, Dead to Me. I got diagnosed while we were working, and I had to call everybody and be like, I have multiple sclerosis. And then it was about kind of learning, all of us learning, what I was going to be capable of doing, the actress recalled. Hindsight being what it is, Christina now realizes she's been experiencing the symptoms of MS for quite a while prior to her diagnosis. She had random numbness coming and going in her feet, balance issues, and fatigue, all of which she ignored. I didn't know what was happening to me, she explained. A few months after doctors diagnosed her with MS, Christina Applegate announced her illness on social media. In the announcement, she mentioned what a strange and tough journey has been. But she was also grateful for all the support she received and seemed determined to keep persevering. Christina refused to let Netflix pull the plug on the final season of Dead to Me. Instead, she powered through some really tough days in order to finish filming. They were going to pull the plug, you know, because it was like torture, and they felt like they were torturing me too, Christina recalled. But I was like, no, 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 no. We have to finish this story. Upon the completion of filming, Christina Applegate shifted her focus to dealing with and learning about her illness. And this meant withdrawing from the limelight. However, once the actress received word she'd earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Christina Applegate refused to let illness keep her from attending the ceremony. Christina showed up to the big day with a wheelchair and a cane. She was surrounded by several adoring co-stars, Katie Segal and David Faustino, from her time on the show Married with Children, Linda Cardellini from Dead to Me, and Selma Blair, a fellow sufferer of MS and co-star from the 2002 film The Sweetest Thing. The Walk of Fame ceremony marked Christina's first public appearance since receiving her MS diagnosis, and Christina couldn't help but get emotional as she took to the podium to give her speech, with assistance from her cane and co-star Katie Sagal. This day means more to me than you could possibly imagine, she said before thanking all of those who have supported her through her life. We certainly pray for Christina Applegate and all those impacted by this terrible illness. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production. Hi, I'm Bonnie Curry, one of the narrators on the Abide app, a premium ad-free biblical meditation experience. Join the millions of people who download the Abide app to reduce stress, improve sleep, and experience the peace of God every day. You can text the word PEACE to 22433 for a seven-day free trial of Abide. Just text PEACE to 22433, and you'll likely hear from me again on the app as I guide you through daily meditations or help you fall asleep and experience the peace of God. Hi, I'm James Seawood one of the narrators on the Abide app, a premium ad-free biblical meditation experience. Join the millions of people who download the Abide app to reduce stress, improve sleep, and experience the peace of God every day. You can text the word PEACE to 22433 for a seven-day free trial of Abide. Just text PEACE to 22433, and you'll likely hear from me again on the app as I guide you through daily meditations or help you fall asleep and experience the peace of God.